Hi guys, welcome back to my channel in Zainman. This is Supreeta. I'm a third year medical student in BGS Medical College, Bangalore. And in today's video, I'm going to spill the beans about how I try to remember everything that I read in my med school. I'm pretty sure all of us have found ourselves in a situation one or the other time where you have crammed a hundred things into your head a day before the exam and then you just go and vomit it out on your paper. But if I ask you a question about the topic a week later, you probably wouldn't remember anything. This is because 90% of us today are following passive learning techniques, which is rereading your textbooks or rereading your lecture notes, or you're probably just underlining stuff and highlighting stuff in your textbooks. It has been proven through research that these study techniques are not really very useful in helping retaining information for a longer period of time. And the answer to this is active recall and spaced repetition. In today's video, I'm going to delve deeper into what active recall and spaced repetition is and how I use it in my study routine. Let's quickly begin by understanding what active recall basically is. Active recall basically means that you're trying to retrieve information from your brain or from your memory. So if you look at the statement given here, it says that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Now, instead of reading the statement over and over again, you make a question out of it and ask yourself, what is the powerhouse of the cell? And when you do this, you are forcing your brain to retrieve information from your memory. So this is what active recall is. Instead of just reading and rereading your notes, you make questions on these notes and you try to retrieve information. Now let's quickly go to what spaced repetition is. Now this is a memory decay curve which was given by a German psychologist called Hermann Ebbinghaus. If you look at this curve, you see that whatever you learnt on the first day, you start forgetting it within the next day itself. So almost 20% of what you learnt is gone within the first day. But if you revise whatever you studied the previous day on the next day, your memory gets boosted up again and then it goes to 100% and now you remember it for a longer period of time. And then as you're forgetting it, if you revise it again, your memory gets boosted again and then you remember it for an even longer period of time. To incorporate active recall and space repetition into my study routine, I use something called Anki. Anki is a free flashcard app which you use to make flashcards from the notes or your textbook. And the most important thing about this is that it has active recall and space repetition algorithms built into it. I'll take you guys through one of my chapters so that you can understand better what I'm talking about. I'm basically studying bacterial conjunctivitis right now. Under that, I am studying acute bacterial conjunctivitis. So I read this paragraph and there are quite a few points that I want to remember. That is basically, I want to remember that acute bacterial conjunctivitis spreads through direct contact with infected secretions. This is an important line for me and I can also see that the most common causative organisms are also given here. So what you would normally probably do is when you're reading, you would probably go and highlight this as important while you are studying and you would probably add annotations to it something like this but instead of doing this what i do is i go to anki and then i make flashcards for myself Now let's create a deck named conjunctivitis. Let's create a deck called conjunctivitis. Okay. So you have a deck here and then you just go to add. And you choose the deck as conjunctivitis. After you've chosen your deck, you can also choose what type of flashcard you want to make. I usually like making basic or close type of flashcards. So for this, I'll be using basic. Now that you've chosen this, I'm going to write myself the question. Okay. 
Okay? And then you write the answer on the back. So then you go to add and a new flashcard has been created. Now I'm going to show you guys how this looks. Okay? So if you can see now for conjunctivitis, one new card has been added. Now if you go to conjunctivitis now and you press study now, you get the question like this. What is the mode of infection in acute bacterial conjunctivitis? And then you press, if you know the answer, you try to recall it and then you press show answer, you will get the answer here. Now the cool part here is the space repetition thing. If you knew the answer and if you could recall it very easily, you just choose easy and this card is going to be shown to you four days later again. And if you took some time to recall it and then you were not very sure, you put good. So it's going to show you a day later again. If it was very difficult to recall, you just put hard so that it will show it to you within 12 hours or if you want to recall it again within 15 minutes, you put again. So this is how instead of making notes for whatever you are reading, you just go on making flashcards for whatever you want to remember in Anki. And then because of its built-in space repetition algorithm, it's going to help you remember it for a longer period of time. Now, I also want to show you another cool thing that is image occlusion. This is going to be especially helpful to you guys if you're studying a subject like anatomy where you have to remember a lot of diagrams, remember a lot of muscles and arteries. Okay, let's go to conjunctivitis and then I'm going to add another flashcard here. Now here, instead of cho choosing the basic type of card, I'm going to choose something called image occlusion enhanced. Add the image here. Okay, after you've added the image, you go to this option on the right side, which shows add image occlusion. So you get a new window like this, which is going to show you the diagram. Okay, so whatever image or headings that you want to occlude, you just close it off like this. Okay, you just close it off and you can do how many ever occlusions that you want to. You close it off like this. Okay. And then I like choosing the option hide all and guess one. So you got three cards have been added. This is already done. Now if you look at this, whatever image occlusion I added has shown up here. So you have to guess what this image occlusion is. Whatever is in red, you have to guess that. If you press show answer, it's going to show it to you. So you just choose good or whatever. And then yes so it will show you to like this this is going to be very very useful to you guys if you do if you have to use it for anatomy and stuff like that so guys this is how i incorporate active recall and space repetition into my study routine to remember and retain things better hope this video was helpful to you guys meet you in the next video thank you for watching bye